In Nebraska and across the nation, Ron Hall is a guiding force in public broadcasting. He believes in the power of good storytelling to educate and entertain. Since the advent of public television, he has connected people to their history, culture, and to each other. Perhaps no other person has chronicled the history of our high plains as magnificently as Mari Sandoz, a woman with an eighth grade education who willed herself to be a writer, and a notable one she was. With books like Old Jewels, Crazy Horse, Cheyenne Autumn, The Cattlemen, The Buffalo Hunters, and over 15 more books worth your time, here she is from the early 1960s. I never write a book unless it's going to contribute to my knowledge. Uh, a reader, if he's in luck, gets some too. But uh, if he doesn't get any, I still am content if it, if it enlarges my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the only way to, to um, really put your material together, as you know as a historian, you gather a great deal of material on a, on a uh, subject, on a topic and so on. But you really don't understand that until you put it into a book. Right. Because then you have to really think about it. Well, so the books are, in a way, written for myself. They say that's a selfish attitude and that isn't true. They say, you know, that no writer writes for himself. To a certain extent, I do. Biographer, historian, storyteller, and teacher, Mari's energetic style is distinctively and recognizably her own. She grew up hearing the fact, fancies, and lead-peppered legends of settlement on the Great Plains, and then devoted a lifetime of scholarship research and writing to recreating the story of conflict, hope, and change on the far-flung plains. I didn't decide to become a writer. I just got bored w without having any stories to read, and the storytellers weren't always around, so I started telling myself stories, also of my younger brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. because they were always in my care. And um, then I found out that the old Omaha Daily News gave you a book, one book every Sunday for the prize winner of the junior page. And from the time I was 10 until I was 16, I kept writing and I never got better than second prize, which was, you know, I never found out what their books would have been like. <laughs> then I was superannuated, you see, in that, and I had, that meant then I had to have an education. If I was going to go on writing, I had to have an education. So I had to, so I, and the only way to finance it was to teach school. Mm -hmm. Well, we consider the old Jules place our home, you see. My five brothers and sisters live around there, and one of my sisters, she runs the old Jules place. And we all consider that home. That's mm -hmm. still home to us. And um, I have a, an office in New York that I consider an outpost among the Aborigines, you see. <laughs> I'm Ron Hull, remembering this icon of American literature, recorded and preserved by N.E.T.